Hi, my name is Quest Couch, and for 25 years I've been designing and manufacturing modifiers for small flashes like this. What I'd like to do today is to talk to you about how LumaQuest outperforms the competitors. The most important two things in selecting a light modifier are the size of the light modifier and its ability to control the direction of the light. You can see that the LumaQuest Softbox 3 is considerably larger than the flash itself, which is going to produce softer shadows. The pocket bouncer is also larger. It's about five or six times the size of, of the flash itself, so it'll produce softer shadows. In addition, you can see with either one of these devices that controlling the direction of the light is very easy with either one of these devices. Now you'll notice that the pocket bouncer is actually installed at a 45 degree angle to the light. So the light hits it like this and goes off that way so you know exactly where you're pointing it at all times. Right now it's pointed right at you. That's very important. This is an infinitely variable light modifier. As you can see, a lot of the light's just going to miss it completely, and a little bit's going to bounce off here and go and hit your subject, but it doesn't have the control that a pocket bouncer does. If you move it into that, that position, it more closely resembles a pocket bouncer, but will never have the precision and accuracy of the pocket bouncer. In addition, you'll notice it bends all sorts of different direct directions like this, and that light can go any direction, who knows where it might end up. But it's being wasted, not illuminating the subject. And it's reducing the size of the bounce surface that actually illuminates the subject, which creates what? Harsher shadows. This type of device are the, some of the most uh, misunderstood devices in, in photography. They look like small soft boxes, but in fact, what they really are is light distribution devices. It is, they distribute the light over about 360 degrees. So it sounds like a good idea, but it, only if you're in a small room. If you're in a large room, a normal room, or outside, it's a bit of a problem. As a matter of fact, you're going to lose about 90% of the light. So there's a great misunderstanding there. If you take a look at the LumaQuest channel on YouTube, you'll see over 20 videos that clearly explain why LumaQuest outperforms the competition which is why LumaQuest continues to be the choice of professionals.